Mama Programa. It's me, Miss Doyle, your Drama Mama. Today we're going to build our own toy theater. Toy theaters were invented about 300 years ago in England. And we're going to build one from a little toy shop called Pollock's Toy Museum and Shop. And if you stick with me through this whole building project, I will give you a secret clue and the first five kids to write in and tell me that secret clue will receive their own toy theater kit themselves. So imagine this little paper book will turn into a miniature theater. Imagine this, it cost one penny originally if the paper was black and white and two pennies if it was full color. So it looks like this one costs two cents. Remember, stick with me throughout this little building project. Find that clue. Write me back down here at the Drama Mama Programa. And any kid who's a member of the Drama Mama Programa Ohana, <laughs> the first five of you, will win your own toy theater kit. And I'll mail it to you in your house wherever you might live in this whole world. Drama. 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 So first we'll need a wooden box or a cardboard box, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, some file folders, a black marker, and some characters or drawings to cut out. Today we're using one of these old 19th century style books. You'll see inside here's the text in several languages. And look, here are the set designs. So we'll take them right out of the book. Just rip that page, there's nothing on the back. Now all the scenes that we need are right here. Looks like we've got four of them in total. Actually, some of them we're gonna cut in halves. They'll just be the wings of the set design, like this one. Now we'll get that glue stick and use plenty of glue and glue on that back of the page of the book Put plenty of glue on and now attach it to one of those file folders. It's great cardboard. Not too thick, not too thin. Really seal it. I like to punch it down onto the cardboard to make it stick. Once you've done that, get out your scissors or your skizzers, whatever you like to call them, and start cutting. Looking good in the neighborhood, you just take your time. These will be the backdrops in our toy theater. It looks like one is Cinderella's home and the other will be for the palace when she goes to the ball. These are called wings or legs in a theater. They come on stage right and stage left and give a lot of depth to our set design. And we do this even in this miniature toy theater, which is super cool. Okay, now we need the characters. And this book is so clever, the cover of the book is the characters because the cover is already out of a thicker paper or light cardboard. So we carefully remove the cover of the book. So here we go. 
and we start cutting the book cover in half. You know what's going to happen next, right? We're going to get a file folder. And, you know, we'll cut this in half, too. A lot of people call this Manila paper. <laughs> it's like oak tag. Different names for it, but it's a lightweight cardboard. Now we glue up the back of this book. Really put plenty of messy, sticky glue on there. And attach it to that file folder. And like I said, I really like to jam it on there. Punch it and make sure it sticks. We'll do the same with the front and the back of the book. By the way, it's better to do it this way than to cut out all the characters first. This is much easier and I'll save you a lot of time. Now not everyone will have this book of course, but the same rules apply if you cut pictures out of a magazine or another book. Or you draw your own. There's Cinderella right there. Let's take this little cutout. This is Cinderella at the ball when she gets all fancy. Once you've cut all of the characters out, things are starting to look cool. But they're, f they're flat, right? So collect them all. Make sure you've got everybody. Now we're going to use the file folders again. But this time we're going to fold them up. Just cut a skinny strip glue that together and guess what we're gonna do we're gonna use these as stands for the characters and the little pieces of set design so I'm gluing a skinny strip of file folder to itself you know maybe four or five inches long you just see what works best for you and I'll take this character. Okay. All right, there's the fairy godmother when she's in a disguise. So I'm gonna fold a little bit down, cut it off till it's just the right size I need to make this little drawing stand up. Lay on some glue. And look, and we'll do that with every single drawing or character that we want on the stage. And some will need wider stands than others. All the little characters just need skinny little folding stands. But this one with Cinderella in the, you know, the big grand carriage with the horses and all of the footmen oh my goodness this is going to need a wider stand to hold that up and this is just trial and error you just keep working and folding and gluing till you figure out what works best for your toy theater paper puppets Oh yeah, we're using plenty of glue. Here we go. We're going to smash that down onto that Cinderella carriage. So now, look, it'll stand up all by itself. Voila! Yeah! We're getting the idea now. And this is what they look like from behind all the different scenes 
And we do the same with the set pieces. Just little stands in the back. Now, excitement, we go to the box. I'm gonna use this wooden box that I got for free from a store. This is an old wine box, but you can also use an old shoe box, any kind of box. Look at that. Oh, there's a scene with Cinderella and the fairy godmother. Ha ha, here's Cinderella at the ball. Back at the home. We've got all the scenes and can move everyone around. And look, inside is how to perform the play and what the characters say. Holy timey toy theater stories are Blackbeard the Pirate, the Harlequin, Aladdin, and the secret clue is miniature. The best story of all is the one you will make up yourself. on. Let's just make theater together. It's the perfect time. Right now we can't all be in the room to make theater together, but we can all be in our own rooms to make miniature theaters and share them together. See you next time. <laughs> Drama, drama.